Hi. Well, uh, if you're wondering, this is another Visual C++ uh, slideshow tutorial. Well, you are right. But this is a slideshow tutorial with a difference. The component that I've used here to develop this very project is known as a node. Okay. Well, before embedding the node, I actually use split container. So let me just show you how it works. Then I'll take you straight into the development environment we design and implement one of these slideshow together. This image you're seeing here is one of my images in uh, uh, YouTube. Hopefully, a lot of you guys must have seen that. And this is how it works. You just click on the first image, second, third. As you can see, most of the images, all of the images use uh, migration that are within uh, YouTube. And also, I have uh, an exit button here that works exactly the same way, just using uh, the same uh, nodes. So I'm going to exit the program now, then we can go into the development environment and start a brand new project. Okay, let's go into Visual C++ development environment now. Thank you. Yes, welcome back. Now let's start by creating a new project. Select uh, Visual C++, Windows Forms application. Just gonna give that name node slideshow two. Well, now the form is ready, so let's change the size to about eight hundred and forty seven by six hundred and one by six hundred and eleven. Then now uh, start position let me just put that in the center okay so that's the form ready uh, the next thing is uh, let's just change the background color change the back color okay the back color changed fonts let's change the font size as well Let's uh, change to about let's say 16 bold. Good. And uh, font color. Make that white. Good. The next thing is uh, get the following I, um, object on board. The first one I need is the split container. There it is, guys. That's the split container right there. Double click on it. Okay, so I'm going to now change the state of the container. That's it right there. Just uh, undock in parent container so that I can change it to my own uh, design. Okay, that's how I want it. Yep, that's fine. Drag. This is how I want my container to look like. Yeah, that's about right. That's cool. So, the next step is I will now get uh, a tree view object. Draw it right there. Click dark in parent container. The next thing is get a picture box there. Repeat the same thing. Dark in parent container as well. I will now change the property of my picture box. Let me just change that to stretch. Now I need one other property that is very important. I will use that property just to add all the images I intend to use. There it is. Image list. Double click. And that is the object right there. So next stage now. Let me move this up so that you can see what I'm doing. As the image list like right there 
click on this little rectangle be sure you change the size of the image I intend to change my to about 256 by 256 now change the by I'm going to change that to about maybe 24 that's cool I'll select the images I intend to use odd the images and here are the images I intend to use I can use select any of these images they are all the image that I developed myself some within visual basic environment and some within uh, flash these are within flash so let me select some other image maybe that and maybe these two so I think I have about five or let's make it six yeah that's fine so as you can see the first image starts from zero one two three four five so those are the images I intend to use so click on OK that is it so the next step is for us to now go into the property of the nodes uh, sorry the property of the tree view right here select the tree view make sure it's selected and look for the node there it is node collection click on node collection so add your nodes the first node I intend to add is uh, let me just make that sort of like a label choose an image that's the first one you can see the node is zero okay add another node I will make this empty node the second node would be image one make that empty node node four would be image two okay let's go back add more nodes to that and five is empty image three so I will now okay now I've finished uh, creating my tree view so I'm going to click on OK and that's what we get right here image 1 to 6 and exit image slideshow so one two other component let me add two other component right here and the label that's my label right there so in there I'm just going to add visual C++ plus plus image slide show fine change the font size to something a little bit larger maybe 24 okay that's cool and one more just one more okay that's my label 2 let's delete let's delete the content within the label 2 because I'll use that just as an output device good so the next stage is to double click on the tree view we are now in the code view so I'll start by saying if E E is supposed to be your machine if E node name equals and we need we now need to convert convert spring equals node node two Enter a coily bracket and you then refer to the picture box. Picture box one images equal image list one. Let's check the name of check the name of image list one that's correct go back into the code might as well just paste copy and paste image list one as images and the first image is image zero and it with semicolon okay so I can just copy and paste this code and change the node and image ok 
head first is node 2 right up there the second is node 4 image is 1 node 6 image 2 node 8 image 3 node 10 image 4 and node 12 as image 5 these are all the images I have and uh, the last node is the exit node node 14 so since that is exit you can just say application application exit so that will be application exit so now just a quick look around oh sorry about this there's supposed to be another bracket there close that bracket up close the other one here and so on okay let's build and check what we've done so far so we will now compile we have compiled so let's run the program and see start the debug there we go guys check out the first image that's good second one and the third and that is it so we need to see the indicator the indicator is right there somewhere we move this down a little bit so guys that's how you develop a slideshow using the the node component the split component and the image list it's very simple so I'll just show you the codes again although I'll copy and paste the code in my share drive if you have any use for it just let me know and here is the code fellows that's right there it's very simple look at that very very simple or like I said if you still want a copy of the note of the note just let me know and that's it guys We'll run the program one more time just running the program one more time the indicator is now in place see that guys it's beautiful just using note so let me show you the codes one more time and here are the codes here are the codes used I've now included the label too as as the indicator and that's it right there guys it's easy you can do something much better so guys I want to call it a day you all have a nice day now but watch well, watch out for the other tutorial in visualbasic.net I'm going to be using the same method to develop uh, a slideshow as well okay you all have a nice day, guys. Bye.